Hello, uh, this is Solomon Ige again. Uh, I'm here today to show you how to configure VLANs on a Cisco switch. Uh, I'm dedicated to making short videos that are straight to the point and show you exactly what you need to know. Okay, so today is just so basic. How do you create VLANs on a uh, Cisco switch? Not only create VLANs, and how do you assign ports to those VLANs as a network engineer or as a network engineer, this is something you're going to be doing on a daily basis. You understand? If you are trying to be a network engineer, you're learning. These are some. These are some of the skills you need to learn and know how to uh, do basic stuff like this on a Cisco uh, switch. Okay, let's go right into it. So I'm in a uh, a Cisco 3560 uh, switch running iOS 12.2. Uh, uh, okay, so I'm going to config. T, that's how you go into your configuration mode. And once you are in the configuration mode, it's so easy to create a VLAN. You just say VLAN and then the VLAN number. So now I'm going to create VLAN 10 and that's it. I have VLAN 10 created. And let's put a question mark. Let's use the app. And you can see all the different options that you have uh, on a, a VLAN. These are the different features, different you know configurations that you can make. Maybe you want to create a a uh, private VLAN or you need to use this VLAN as a remote span. I'm not going to bug you with all those ones right now. Uh, in later videos, I'm, I will show you how to use uh, these uh, features. Right now, the only one I want to show you here is the name. And this one lets you give a name to that VLAN. So when you create a VLAN so that when you come back to it, you know exactly what that VLAN is used for. So this is VLAN 10. I want it to be for workstation so i want to have all my workstations in this uh vlan so i say okay the names work workstations so i know this vlan is all for my off uh for all my workstations sorry so exit and then i can create another vlan vlan 20 and i can name this uh, name this VLAN voice and I know all my IP phones uh, voice gateway is going to reside in this VLAN okay and uh, let's create another VLAN let's create a third VLAN say VLAN 30 and name that for servers so VLAN basically basically allow you to uh, uh, logically segment your network so you kind of practically breaking your network down into uh, smaller or several uh, networks and uh, VLANs enable you to do that the virtual local area network that's the full many of VLANs allow you to do that so in this case I want my workstation on a separate network as my void as my server but you're still using the same physical infrastructure the same switch basically but you have these devices on separate uh, logical and network okay so i have those three vlans now for me to see let's see if those vlans actually created before we do that let's let's use the right command to save our configuration i encourage you to save as much as you can so that you don't lose anything it's always good don't shy away from saving just save as much as you can okay so right and then i can use the show vlan command to see the VLAN, then you can see we already have VLAN 20, 10, 20, and 30 created. VLAN 1 is your default, it's always going to be there. You know, these are the other VLAN 1002. Yeah, you're probably not going to use them. Those are uh, most more than, close to obsolete now, if not already obsolete. But the ones you, you ones going to use most are the ones that you created, and then default is your uh, VLAN 1. Okay, all right. So now that we have this VLAN created, we don't just want to create VLAN for the fun of it. We need to assign ports to this uh, VLAN that we have created. And that's what we're going to do right now. So I want to assign ports 1 to 9 to uh, VLAN 10. So I'm going to say enter the configuration mode again. Uh, interface range. Interface range. F0. one two nine okay so this nine ports i want to assign and two vlan 10. so first i'm going to declare that this is a switch port switch port access so switch port mode 
access. So the mode of those ports, those are access ports. So you just tell it these are access ports. Access port can belong to a particular a villain as against trunk port that can carry traffic for more for multiple villain. So I'm just telling this switch this is an access port and I want to assign this to a particular villain. So now I want to tell the switch what villain I want to assign this port. So it's switch port access VLAN 10. Bingo. I already assigned that to all those spots to VLAN 10. And I can do no short just to make sure they're active. And exit from this. And let's do, let's put, uh, let's assign VLAN 11 through 15 to VLAN, to uh, port 11 through 15 to VLAN uh, 20. So we say interface range F zero eleven to fifteen. Okay. And once again switch port mode access switch port access VLAN twenty no short okay exit let's do the same thing for VLAN 30 now let's put 16 to 20 so interface range f0 16 to 20 okay now you say switch port mode is access switch port Assets VLAN VLAN tari. No short. Let's exit out of that configuration mode and then let's save. I like the right command a lot to save my work. Okay, and let's do show VLAN. Show VLAN. And as you can see in VLAN 10, the workstation VLAN, I have port 1 through 9 invoice of 11 through 15 and 30 of 16 through 20 so that's how you create villains and assign ports to those villains so if you have if you have been thinking before now this is something difficult it's not so basic so easy uh, to do all right thank you very much for watching this video and you know be on the lookout for more video which are definitely going to come do more advanced uh, stuff as we go along in trying to make you uh, a networker uh, uh, engineer all right thank you very much for watching and then um, more videos to come thank you bye bye